photograph. Got the basic outline mm. there, something to work to, isn't it? In paper. Yeah. We're not getting the reflections. No. It's just paper engineering, but it's looking pretty close. How long is it actually going to take to turn it into brass? Believe it or not, there's uh, near enough four weeks, four 40 weeks? Hour week for one man. 40 hour. We did, that in a, we did that in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> While Claire works on the Golden Ford, I've tracked down a lady of a similar vintage. Amazingly, A. George's daughter, Clara, is still alive, and I'm going to Surrey to meet her. Apparently, her dad was a keen cyclist, once representing South Africa. But he gave up cycling after a particularly nasty accident and moved to England in search of further adventures. I mean, he, he was always had his eye on the, on the next new thing. And he loved speed always, you see. You know, he had a, a motor engineering business. They had five, six branches over the northeast, Glasgow, Hexham, Lake District, all over. But his first love was always racing the things, not selling them. Even seaside holidays were devoted to the sport. Saltburn used to have racing on the beach and used to compete there. And I used to go there sometimes with them and watch them racing. George raced the Golden Ford between 1911 and 1914. He won dozens of races, most notably when he lined up against one A.B. Coulthard to go on and win the Ford Cup at Brooklands, presented by none other than Henry Ford himself. But all that success didn't come without its dangers. Once when he was racing, for some reason, the car was in flames, exhaust trouble or something. But he finished the race just the same and came in second with a blazing car. That was just my father. He was always different. A. E. George certainly was different. The Golden Ford is the only car we know of to be built with a solid brass body. And looking at its replacement, you can only wonder why. Well, since we last saw the bodywork, it's really moved on a pace, and I think it looks absolutely fantastic. Has it been a difficult job to do, Rob? No, it's been a fairly straightforward job. The main thing that we had to do is be very, very careful about marking out all the rivets, drilling the holes in the correct position, mm -hmm. and making sure that we, we don't put any scratches on the material, because it's a polished body and we can't afford any mark or any errors at all. Uh